Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this walking 3D animated t-shirt mock-up in Blender for a completely free, no cost at all. So yeah, let's get started. First, you're going to want to head over to my gum road. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description. You can go ahead and support the channel with any amount you'd like, or just put zero and click buy this. Just, you, can, you have to put in uh, a tip, or you don't have to, you can just put a zero as a tip and enter your email address and then just click get your own email address obviously. click on get solve the captcha and then it's gonna give you the file for free just solving the captcha right here okay now it has proceeded with the captcha and now i can download the file i have already downloaded it so i'm gonna just show you how to open it you're just gonna extract it and then open the file Double click on the blend file, t-shirt version 2.blend file. Once that is opened, you're gonna change the render engine from Cycles to EV for faster rendering. Click on the render viewport shading mode to view your design and t-shirt in the viewport shading and how it's gonna look like. You're gonna open this, this folder and you're gonna just see where your Photoshop document is and you're gonna open that in Photoshop. So you can put your design placement and stuff you're gonna see it's gonna have a logo example folder you're just gonna want to disable that this is just to show you where the like each and every part of the t-shirt is gonna have the design on just i have these designs ready so i'm gonna drag and drop them over here i'm gonna correctly place them on the t-shirt and once i'm done with that i'm just gonna save the photoshop document i think i'm pretty happy with this placement so i'm gonna save this photoshop document Head back to Blender and I'm just gonna choose the same Photoshop document from the same folder and it's gonna update in viewport shading mode okay now it has updated but I want to change the t-shirt color to blue so I'm just gonna double click on the color layer and Photoshop change the color you can obviously change it to whatever you'd like with this uh, color picker and solid color tool so, but I'm just gonna stick with blue for now since just for the sake of this tutorial so i'm just gonna save this again head over to blender head back to blender and open that photoshop document again in the same folder and i'm just gonna check and see if my placement is correct by going through the timeline of the animation and i think i'm pretty happy with this placement uh, just gonna bring it back. I can obviously change the backdrop color to whatever I'd like, whatever you'd like to. You head over to materials property window, change it to whatever color you'd like, and bring this up so it can be lighter. Bring it down so it can be darker. But I'm just gonna stick with black for now for the sake of this tutorial. So yeah, once you're happy with that. There's nothing else to do other than just choosing a location and output location for your renders. It's gonna render it as a PNG sequence first, and then I'm gonna show you how to open the PNG sequence and make it into a video in just a second. Click accept and just choose the resolution of the video you want. So make sure this is really a really important step. And then just hit render, render animation. And now it's gonna start rendering in like it's gonna take like 5 to 10, 15 minutes max if you have a good computer. If it's slow, if it's a slow computer, it's gonna take like 30 to, to 1 hour. Okay, now you're gonna click on File, New Video Editing, and it's gonna open this window. Click on Add Image Sequence and select all the images that you have rendered. I'm, just, I'm not gonna select them because I've already selected them. You're gonna see how many frames it's rendered so it's rendered 301 frames i'm just gonna put the end frame at 301 choose a frame rate for your render keep in mind the frame rate is the speed of your video choose an output folder too and you can you have to choose the same resolution as the previous resolution chosen and before you render and yeah that's basically it you're gonna render render animation it's gonna start rendering your png sequence into a video file an mp4 file and once that is done you can just open it from wherever you outputted the folder to and yeah that's basically it guys if you want another t-shirt or something or a hoodie or whatever leave that in the comment section below and thank you for watching